God. Oh. Well, we lost some. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday, a show where it's Tuesday and try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. I swear to God, sometimes it works. It does work sometimes. It actually works kind of often, but lately it has not. And I don't know if meatless meatloaf is the best dish to try to make a comeback, but this is the third week of our Thanksgiving side dishes and I really wanted to try it out. For those of you who are not eating meat this Thanksgiving, or maybe if you perhaps have some vegans invited to your Thanksgiving dinner. Ew, how did that happen to you? I'm kidding, vegans, I love you. Whatever the case, I thought we'd try a meatless meatloaf. It sounds interesting, I'm very underconfident with everything that I've been attempting lately just because of the whole losing streak thing. But you know, that's how life is. You never know what you're doing and sometimes it causes doubt, but then you just do it anyway. And sometimes it works out in your favor. Sometimes shit goes your way. So we're hoping that today's shit goes our way. Let's make this dish. Oh, step one, dress really festive. Sometimes if you look cute, it doesn't matter how your cooking tastes. We're going that route. Yay. We're gonna preheat our oven to 370 75 degrees Fahrenheit, do it. Oh good, you did it. Next we're gonna lightly oil a nine inch loaf pan. Is that nine inches? That's what he said it was. I believe you. It actually looks bigger than nine inches. That's what every guy wishes she would say. <laughs> Oh, this is easy. I didn't even read the instructions before I tried this. We're gonna take a bunch of ingredients and put it in a food processor and make that do the work. Yes! Is this real? So easy. Oh my gosh, I hope it works. Okay, we're gonna put all these ingredients into this food processor, but my food processor is really small, so I'm probably gonna have to work in batches and then just put everything into a mixing bowl. So if you have a big food processor, good for you. Brag about it and also use it for this dish. You're not better than me. So I'm gonna take half of all of our ingredients and put it in there first. And then do the other half, duh. We're gonna do two cans of garbanzo beans, drain, but I'm starting with one. Are we all understanding that I'm having all these ingredients? I know you're smart, you got this. Oh God, Oh. Well, we lost some. We always lose some. I'm cute. My mess ups don't count. One can of chickpeas, drained. Going in there. The chickpeas are gonna be our base of our meatless meatloaf. So we don't wanna fuck it up. Chick, please. You ain't meatloaf. <laughs> Love me. I'm just gonna grind these chickpeas up on their own really quick to make room for the other things. Moral of today's story, buy a bigger food processor and get shit done like a machine. A Thanksgiving machine. I don't know who I am. Okay, here we go. Okay, now there's more room. Good. Yeah, we're efficient. Okay, putting in half of our diced onion. Well, that didn't do shit. None of the onions got Process. I wonder if this would work in a blender. No time for that. Of course it's not that easy, of course. Hey, B-roll, B-roll cam, oh my god. Oh, everything is fucked up. It said not to over blend and I pretty much made hummus. Oh my god, I'm just so confident about this. Thank you, I needed the support. Okay, here are the ingredients that are going in this thing in case this gets away from me and we get all mixed up somehow. We get lost. We're doing two 14 ounce cans of chickpeas, one onion diced, two celery stalks chopped, two carrots diced, two garlic cloves minced, two cups panko breadcrumbs, which look like that, half a cup unflavored soy or almond milk, three tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons soy sauce, two tablespoons olive oil, two tablespoons ground flax seeds, two tablespoons tomato paste, one teaspoon liquid smoke, and a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, you gotta blend all those up in a food processor or like work in batches, and I'm just gonna do the best I can to blend all of them evenly. I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, wow, that was stressful. So what I ended up doing was I blended all of our prepped ingredients, all the vegetables, that I diced up and chopped up and prepped really well because I prep now I know how to do that 2016 the year of prepping and also other monstrous stuff so I did all those separately in the food processor I totally said not to over process I totally think I did over process but I dressed cute so we're all good then I added those to a mixing bowl and then I added the liquid ingredients so and eh? it looks like this I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like, but that's what we have. And now we're just gonna press it into our loaf pan. Really debating on whether or not to add more breadcrumbs to it because it's kind of mushy, but. Put it in your loaf pan. Mush it down with your fingers, you animal. Oh, you didn't see that. Okay, now that we got our mush into our pan, we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes. Get in there. 
pita. While that's in there baking, we're gonna make our glaze for the top. So normally meatloaf has like ketchup on it. I don't know if you used to eat meatloaf when you were a kid, but my mom used to put ketchup all over it. And I thought it was dank, but this person who created this recipe thought that ketchup was really basic. So they came up with a tomato maple glaze which we're gonna make right now. Cool, we're cool. This glaze looks super easy at least, although I don't wanna jinx that too. We're just gonna put all these ingredients into a small mixing bowl and mix it up. Fuck, please be easy. When things that sound easy aren't, I just feel dumb. We're gonna do a fourth a cup of our tomato paste. We're gonna do two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of paprika. And then we're just gonna whisk that. Yay, we're doing things. Oh my gosh, we are doing such a good job. This is gonna turn out so great. Everyone will love us, especially Steve Green. This person didn't like ketchup, so we made a fancy ketchup. All right. Whatever you need to feel special, meatloaf. I will meet loaf you no matter what. <laughs> meat love you, meat love you. Why are you still watching? All right, boom, done. Now, as an aside, I thought we'd make some mashed potatoes. I have never made mashed potatoes. That's weird, right? I have lived on this earth for three decades, never have made mashed potatoes. It's not that I didn't want to, I just have never had any opportunities, and that's sad. So we're gonna make some mashed potatoes. Also, I have a potato masher that I bought to mash tomatoes, because I'm an idiot. Never has this Potato masher, mashed the potatoes, and that, that's, that's just mean. This masher has a sole purpose and I've not been giving it pathways to fulfill its destiny. I'm so sorry for doing this. Okay, so how do we make mashed potatoes? So we're gonna take a big old pot and we're gonna take our gold potatoes. It says Yukon gold. This one just said gold. I couldn't find Yukon gold. Is there a difference or is it just one gold potato comes from the Yukon? Where is the Yukon? We have so many questions for a simple recipe. Anyway, I got potatoes. Just gonna put them in there. Leave the skin on or don't if you're weird about that. I did eight because I love potatoes. Now we're gonna cover it with water. Don't worry potatoes, I got you covered. Mannequin challenge, level 100. Okay, now we're just gonna bring those to a light boil. And we're gonna add a teaspoon of sea salt to there because says. I don't know what other reason you want. Bye. Light boil, do it. Okay, while that's doing that, I'm gonna clean this. To do everything around here. See you in, when that boils. Hi, our loaf is ready, so I'm gonna take that out before I do anything else. Hi, what are you doing? That's cool. Ooh, it smells like meatloaf. Wow, impressive. Our potatoes are lightly boiling. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. So now we're just gonna cover and boil them for 25 to 30 minutes until they're like really, really, really fork tender. Until then, you can just forget about it though. Anyway, now we're gonna glaze our meatloaf with our sauce that we made, our not ketchup, very fancy sauce. Don't get it twisted. So I'm just gonna take spoonfuls of this and just spoon it onto our loaf, our chickpea loaf. Oh, cute. Okay, bueno. Now we're just gonna pop that back in the oven for 25 minutes. So it'll be done about the same time our potatoes are done. Check out that timing. <laughs> Please don't burn me. Cool. And while that's all happening, I'm gonna just chop up some chives for our mashed potatoes. Feels good to be a chive. All right, that's about it. I will meet you back when these potatoes are done. Yay, it's a party in here. That sound means that our chickpea loaf is done and our boiled potatoes are done. Oh my God, it does, it smells exactly like meatloaf. It smells exactly what I remember meatloaf smelling like. Holy shit, childhood. I'm gonna let that chill over there for 10 minutes. You can let it chill longer if you prefer your meatloaf to be less crumbly and more like spam. Meanwhile, we're gonna deal with the potatoes. Hi potatoes, how are you? Potatin, so we're gonna drain these motherfuckers. Oh, I guess I should make sure they're actually soft before I do this. Hello, are you soft? Yes, I think so. This is good for your pores. Bad for your makeup though, don't do that. We're gonna put our potatoes back in the pot to just like evaporate all the water for a minute. Do that. We're gonna put our potatoes into a mixing bowl. Do it. Then we're gonna take our potato masher or a hand blender if you don't have a potato masher. Get all the cat hair off your potato masher cause you're smoother than that. And then we're gonna mash our potatoes until they're all light and fluffy. Like the optimism I'm projecting onto this recipe. Yay. Ooh, these are, 
my gosh, man, show off. This thing is a stud. I have never mashed potatoes before. Have you ever seen a girl this excited about mashing potatoes? This is real. Oh my goodness, whoa. It was so easy. I just expected it to be so much harder. And I expected that to be so much easier. Just reverse everything you think and feel. Once that's all mashed up and fluffy, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of butter. I'm using Earth Balance, you use whatever you want. Also, I have about five cloves of sauteed garlic. We're gonna do a teaspoon and a half of sea salt and a half teaspoon black pepper. And we're just gonna take a spoon and stir it up. So easy. So happy. Then we're just gonna top it with our chives and voila, that looks amazing. And here's our final meatless meatloaf. And side of mashed potatoes that I had a bite of and holy God. Do it, make them, they're really good. I hope it turns out, if not, just remember to not skip step one, which is look really cute and festive. Then they look mean for not liking your food. And you're right, and they're wrong. In any case, I hope it does meet our expectations, <laughs> which are very low, so it should be right on par. Let's see if it's tasty. Happy Thanksgiving, you non-turkey eating blasphemous plant eater. I hope this is tasty. Okay, disclaimer before Steve tastes this. Either my first instinct to add more breadcrumbs was correct, or the recipe also says the longer you let the loaf wait, the harder that it gets, like the more meatloaf consistency it gets. When I cut this, it was still pretty mushy. So maybe we could wait longer to eat it, but I don't want the mashed potatoes to get cold. So if you make this, either add more breadcrumbs or wait longer before you cut it. I only waited 10 minutes. It says you could wait even like a day. Like you could leave it in the fridge overnight and reheat it and it would be more of the consistency of meatloaf. So there you go, tips if you want them. Haven't tasted it, I just have felt it when I was serving it onto a plate. Hi. Yo, what's up? What's up? I get it, it's really good. Number one, it's really good. It is? You, yeah. you serious? I swear. You don't really have good. to no, say no, no, it because really I, I look cute. I know I'm dressed really cute to make you it's like me. Super cute, but. <laughs> It tastes nothing like meatloaf. Absolutely nothing like it meatloaf. It smells like meatloaf, so it's really confusing it to me. It smells like meatloaf. More, looks like it a little bit. But if you're like someone who's like, yo, I love meatloaf, <laughs> eat, eat, eat meatloaf. Don't make this. It's but make this if you want to try something that tastes good. Tasty? It's very tasty, yeah. It's tasty! Oh my god, yay, it's tasty! You did it. Okay, the mashed potatoes, though. Oh, that's good, yeah. I love them. Yeah, they're really good. They're so good. This tastes like restaurant style. Nicely done. Yeah, man. Yeah. Cool, so it's tasty this week. Yeah, Thank God. Could. I know it's not the best dish to make a comeback. I got more up my sleeve. I just felt like it was the most Thanksgiving-y dish if you are not eating turkey this year. I have a problem with the consistency. I just yeah. would like it to be more solid. Well, you should have followed the recipe and, and waited. I feel like it should have been drier going in. Got I feel it. like it should have had breadcrumbs. So um, I'll try it tomorrow and see if it's any different. Good job, but it looks good. I like it. It does taste good though. Yeah, it does taste good. I like good. the flavors. I, I do too. Next week I'm making cornbread because I promised some dank ass cornbread a yeah. couple months ago. Make... Cornbread's a good side dish for Thanksgiving, but we ran out of weeks to make side dishes. So I'm making it next week. Come back next week. I feel like that one will be really tasty. Yeah, anyway, subscribe so you don't miss any of this and please like me. I dress cute for you. You look very cute. I like that a lot. It's like that. <sighs> don't, oh, oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Hey, how do I turn this off? Oh, shit. Shit, man. Shit. Oh, shit. Shit. This is a long bit. When we first got together, I felt like we were a team. You know, yeah. I felt like we did everything together. The end of the year was like our season. Mm -hmm. It was like Thanksgiving and Christmas, Thanksgiving and Christmas. But lately, I feel like so every year it becomes more and more about him. 